Calls for the Springfield Diocese to release decades worth of files connected to the murder of 13 year old altar boy Danny Croto. The day after we learned of evidence tying now deceased former Catholic priest Richard Levine to the crime. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. And thanks for joining us. I'm Jordan Jagelin. Sir, we do have team coverage tonight of the case that's captivated people in our area for nearly 50 years. Leon Purvis is standing by with more from the victim's family lawyer and claims from other survivors. But first, Western Mass News reporter Briseida Landa Verde begins with what she's uncovered today. Briseida. Well, Chris and Jordan, organizers are calling on the Diocese of Springfield to release more information in Danny Croto's case and anyone else who may have been abused. Almost five decades after 13-year-old Danny Croto's body was found in the Chicopee River, the community continues seeking answers on what exactly happened. Tell us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This following, Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni announcing on Monday that his office had enough evidence to charge former Catholic priest Richard Levine with the murder of Denny had he not died this past Friday. We're still outside on the sidewalks of a Catholic church, a Catholic diocese, asking a bishop to be open, honest, and transparent. And it's not coincidental, ladies and gentlemen, that the information yesterday was delivered not by the church, but by civil and criminal authorities. Levine had been an early focus of the murder investigation. Taking a look back, Danny's body was found in April of 1972. In 2004, a letter came to light which connected Levine to Danny's murder, but it took until earlier this year for the investigators to confirm the letter was from Levine. This then formally allowed the case into Levine to reopen. And he has a history of past sexual abuse claims. We can tell you in 1991, Levine was removed from the ministry following his arrest. In 1992, he pleaded guilty to sexually abusing two boys. And in 2003, he was defrocked by the Vatican. But this wasn't learned in Massachusetts until 2004. The nonprofit organization Road to Recovery, which helps victims of sexual abuse, is now calling on the Diocese of Springfield to release any information they have on the case and any other files of other clergy sexual abusers they know of. So that all of the children and all of the teenagers and all of the vulnerable adults of Springfield who have been abused by clergy here, number one, will know who their abusers are and number two, will have some acknowledgement that, wow, I wasn't the only one, or they have finally named the priest who abused me. The Diocese of Springfield telling Western Mass News in a statement. In 2004, the diocese handed all information requested and witnesses to the grand jury that was convened by the Hamden County District Attorney's Office and go on to say the diocese cooperated with that investigation and all subsequent requests or subpoenas and will continue to do so. Western Mass News spoke to a classmate and friend of Denny's who was present at Tuesday's rally. She recalls the moment Denny's body was located. When he was found, not expected, you know, it was sad. And coming up at 6, we hear more details from Danny's classmate on how his tragic death impacted the community and her relationship with the Catholic Church. For now, live in Springfield, Bree Delanda Verde for Western Mass News.